Hey guys, I got a new knot for you here today. I'm calling this the designer's knot. You can see it's very simple. There's nothing on it. It looks impossible. It looks like it should fall apart, but it doesn't. Check it out. It looks all good. And I can tighten it and loosen it. And everything just stays right where it should. Um, so I'm calling it the designer's knot. I haven't seen anybody show how to do this. And uh, I like the design of it. It just looks super simple. And uh, for those of you who like a clean, you know, clean look with no extras, this is the way to go. Um, especially if you don't have any pockets on your shirt and just have a smooth shirt and one t one tone and have this thing, people are going to be they're going to you know look talk to you and not talk to your shirt when they see the tie. So yeah, it's really really straightforward. Um, and I haven't seen anybody do this, so let's go ahead and show you. There's a little trick to this knot, and it's this little. Uh, little uh, pin back here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually pull it out. That's the trick right there. And from here on you're probably like, oh, that's so easy. Well, it took a little thought to make this, but um, you just need a little, uh, you know, metal pin. The smaller the better. And uh, no red or no weird colors. Just try to get a metal one with, uh, you know, just a silver, silver uh, head. And that should be the trick. So let's show you how to make the rest of this. I'm just going to go ahead and pin this into my pocket here so I don't lose it. And uh, it shouldn't fall out and it shouldn't poke you. Um, if you make it right, it actually stays far away from your body. You know, even if you touch it and everything, it should stay right where it is. Um, and even if it does fall apart, you can just kind of do that. And it still looks like it's tied. You know, just as long as you keep keep it like that. So um, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off real quick and show you how it's done so you can see here's pretty much the knot without you know without me so I'm gonna go show you how to tie this I like to tie this outside um, or you know off of my neck um, and I do that with uh, the regular knot that I always tie I never do it on my neck I'm just so used to doing this because I can adjust the length really easily and um, when somebody else asks me to, to tie a knot uh, for their tie, I'll, I'll, I'll do it like this and I'll show them how to do it. And I'll, I can hand it to them and it's ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the long end here and uh, we're going to place the wide long end over the skinny end like this. So we're leaving about, if you grab it right here, it's pretty much right in the middle of the tie. So if you fold the tie in half, like that. You're going to grab right there and then you're going to take that skinny end and put it right under there. Make an X like that. Okay. Then we're going to take this end, this one being the long wide end, we're going to roll it under this. Okay. So you can imagine your, your neck is going to be right here, here's your head. It's going to roll right under this. And then it's going to go up and over this way. Just like that. So again, I'm going to start from zero. Start here, roll around the back, take the long end, stick it through the loop until you have that right there. So this is the loop that's going to go on your neck, okay? You're going to have a little triangle here. What you do here is you roll this around the front one more time and you go up from the back. So again, this thing that we just put through the loop, you roll it around the front and then here's your loop here. You reach into the loop and pull that long end through the loop and throw it over just like that. And you can see that there's the tie. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. You have your collar up. Put that on and you tighten it by pulling this little end in the back, the skinny narrow end. Pull that until it's up right to about right where the buttons meet together. At this point you can drop down the collar, use the little end again to tighten and as you're going to tighten it's going to go down until it gets far enough to where you can tuck it into this little thing back here. Um, so there's a, most ties have these little loops back here which you use to just insert the extra piece so it doesn't come out on the sides. You do that and then 
that looks all neat and straightforward. So when you drop the the you know tie over and you put it on and it's all good to go, the key part again is this little pin that I talked about before. Um, and you're going to go ahead and take this little tiny pin and you're going to secure the tie like this. And it will stay, trust me. And it's not going to poke you, it's going to be just fine. And it's going to look really cool. Um, of course, if you're going to be, you know, running a marathon with this whole thing, it's not going to work. It's going to come out, okay? But if you're going to be just, uh, you know, having a nice night out and you're or going to church or going wherever, um, you, you know, you're in the, in the office or something, you got the tie on, this is fine um, and it will hold. So what you want to do is you want to kind of pinch the tie the way it's going to be before you uh, secure it and kind of look at it, make sure it looks right. And that looks good right there. So the pin is going to go as far back as you can and right at that point where you want it to be secured. So the pin is going to go right into here, like that, across the back, and out this way. But the thing is, you don't go out on the other side. Right before it comes out, you can kind of feel where it's going to be with your finger right before it exits. You just kind of tilt it this way and push it all the way in. Okay. Uh, you can see that there. Um, so the thing is, again, what you want to do is when you, you start putting it in like this, and right before, right before it comes out, you kind of you grab this side of the material a little bit with the pin, and then you tilt it down and you push all the way down. So right now the pin is actually inserted kind of like this. It starts higher, it grabs the material, and it goes down a little bit. And there you go. Once you have that in, you can squish it there, make sure that it's in all the way. You can adjust the width of that by just pulling it in or out. And uh, there you go. It's secure and it's on there and it looks very sleek very smooth and very cool hopefully you enjoy that um, please leave me any comments or questions you have about the video or about the tie or about the knot and I'll try to answer those and um, also uh, there will be more videos on my channel for the uh, ties and other knots and how to time hopefully you can check those out and give me feedback and it's been a pleasure showing you how to tie this new designer knot on your tie <laughs>